So at this point I decide, all right, I'm gonna pull out my phone and I'm gonna call somebody, I'm gonna call my father, I'm gonna call the Ghostbusters, I'm gonna call like the Humanity Society, like I just, I gotta call some people. So I pull out my phone and at this point I do not have cell service because we are of course in the motherfucking mountains. So this is literally like the perfect storm of, of catastrophic events. Like I don't, I don't even know how many more things could go wrong, right? Like we got, we got broken car, we got broken foot, we have no wallet, we got no cell service. Like this is literally perfect. Like the only thing that could go worse, even, even like worse at this point, is we're by the side of the road and like a big van like pulls over like a white panel van and like some creepy old guy gets out and just like, like drugs us and throws us in his van. Like that is literally the only way it could have gotten worse. Or, or maybe like if a bear like came down off the mountain and started like chomping on us. Like I, I don't even know how it could have gotten worse because it was it was pretty bad like no cell service no wallet cars broken down you know, at least we had beer at least we had beer you know if, if all else failed we could at least die drunk on the side of the mountain with our broken car and our broken dreams of playing in the soccer tournament but as luck would have it we decided to walk up the hill so we we slowly start to trek up the hill and by slowly i mean myself because of course everybody else walks at a normal speed but i am I am crippled, I am hobbling. See, at this point I hadn't mastered the art of walking with an air cast, so I was actually quite slow. So we're walking up a hill, and hills are hard, that's the thing. Hills are really, really hard in the air cast. So uh, we got all these people driving by, and because it's a steep hill, they're driving only like 60 kilometers an hour. All right, they see our car by the side of the road with the hazard lights right as soon as they get out of the tunnel, so of course they're even driving slower. So we have all these cars driving by, and they just see this, procession of dudes just walking by the side of the road and you know it's 35 degrees out so we've all taken our shirts off so we got cars just driving by and they just see a procession of dudes just walking up the hill shirtless one of them is a cripple he appears to be in some sort of distress and it, you know it's funny too because we have this obvious scene of these people in help with of us these people us and nobody actually ever pulled over. Nobody was like, hey boys, what's wrong? Like, is your car broken down? Can we help? They weren't like, hey, I know that your friend is injured and your car is broken down. Maybe this isn't a good circumstance for him to be in. Nobody, nobody pulled over. People took pictures of us. Yes, we had lots of people taking pictures of us as they drove past, but nobody stopped to offer help. We had people honking us. Uh, I, I don't even know if anybody actually waved. I actually know. There was a, a car full of hot women and they waved at us, and I think they did one of those, like, woo, like, we love you, but we're not gonna actually stop to help you or introduce us or give us your number. We're just gonna woo as we drive past, because we're on a road trip, woo. We, we, we were on a road trip un until, you know, the car broke down, but. So, anyways, we're, we're walking up the side of this uh, mountain um, on, on the side of the road with all the cars zooming past, and, this is when I need to describe another geological feature of this great spot that we broke down at. So there's the road, and then on, on the left side of the road is a fucking death valley. Like it, it's just, it's road and death valley and mountain. It, road, death valley, mountain. And then on the right side of the road, you have a small patch of dirt by the side of the road. And then there's a fucking ravine. There's just like a ditch of some sort. I, I presume it was there for when we died by the side of the road for our bodies to roll into. Because, you know, at least like over the years from like erosion, we'd finally be buried. Um, but no, there, there was a ravine. So we're walking up the side of this road, this mountain. And finally, I found a spot where I can get cell service. So it's also conveniently right on the edge of this ravine. And of course, because I'm a cripple, I don't I don't have the best balance yet, right? So I'm just I'm standing there, you know, kind of awkwardly, and I got my phone up in the air, right? Like I I literally had to hold it up in the air to get enough signal. Like it was that bad. Like I'm already six three. Like when I'm holding my my phone at like chest height, this is like taller than most people, or at least like half of Asia, right? But I have to hold my phone up here just to get cell service. And so I'm, I'm calling AMA, right? I got my father to text me the number for AMA. I'm calling them and, hello, this is AMA. Uh, we're currently really busy right now, so please hold on the line. Please keep in mind that if you hang up and call back, you will lose your place in line. So please stand by until one of our representatives can answer the phone in your critical life endangering car breaking down scenario by the side of the road. Great, I thought to myself. So I'm standing there on hold 
for you know 10-15 minutes while the sun is beating down at my exposed like neck and back and of course I'm a super white boy so I I can already feel the burning you know I'm probably just burning all over my back and my neck and I can't even move and uh, of course all my friends and family well my family wasn't there but my friends they all just kept walking up the hill into the tunnel they're like you know that cripple guy we'll we'll leave him out there in the sun he'll he'll figure this out and they just they went to go sit in the nice cool shady tunnel so you know they they were fine but at, at least they were fine so I'm I'm on the line waiting and waiting and then finally I hear a beep and I look at my phone and my signal had dropped. Yeah, that's right. I, I lost my signal. And the, the reason that it happened is because I think I had moved a couple steps to the left. And that was because I was being attacked by terrifying giant as fuck BC bugs. Like, I don't even know what it was. It was some combination of like a horse fly and a grasshopper. And it just, it came right at me. And I, you know, I tried to dodge, but you know, I'm a cripple, so I can't dodge very well. Like, I almost fell into the ravine. Like, that was almost the end. Like, it was almost like, like this guy's gone forever, right? Like once the cripple's in the ravine, you're not getting him out again, right? Like he's, you might as well leave him, you know, like save yourself. But anyway, so I'm, I lose my cell signal and I lose my place in lineup. So at this point I'm like, oh my God.